hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making chin chin this recipe is my secret recipe that makes some very addictive chin chin trust me guys once you try it you can never go back this will be your favorite chin chin forever first up i'm going to combine my flour sugar nutmeg powdered milk and cinnamon together in a bowl At this point, we are going to bring out our margarine. You can use butter, but I'm using margarine. I'm going to crumble the margarine with my flour mixture until it resembles breadcrumbs. After the margarine has been incorporated into the flour mixture, I'm going to be whisking together my liquid ingredients, which are my egg and milk, to make it easier to pour into the flour mixture. So I'm making a well in the flour mixture, which I'm going to be pouring my liquid ingredients in. After pouring my liquid ingredients in, I'm going to be kneading together until it forms a pliable soft dough. The dough is going to be soft but at the same time not sticky. Now my dough has come together, it's time to roll it out. So prepare your surface that you're going to be rolling the dough on. Make sure to dust it with flour so that it won't be too sticky to deal with. And then you just roll it out. And then you just roll it out flat but not too thin. Now in the spirit of Valentine, I'm going to be using a love shaped cookie cutter to cut out my chin chin but you can use any other cookie cutter you have or you can even use your pizza cutter to cut it out with shape. After cutting out my 
chain chain i'm going to reroll the remaining dough and just repeat the process all over again now my chin chin is ready for frying so i'm going to be frying on medium heat now if you are frying your chin chin you don't let the oil be too hot otherwise it won't fry well and if it's too cold it's going to be very oily occasionally stir the chin chin in the oil to make sure that all sides brown equally The chin chin is now ready, so I'm just going to be scooping it out with a sieve. It's in a bowl lined with paper towels to drain out the oil. So if you try out this recipe, please let me know in the comments below. And please, if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask. Please like, please subscribe and, and share this recipe with your friends and family this Valentine. Thank you for watching. Bye.